Hey everybody, it's the Boss Lady here coming to you with Talk About It Tuesday. Before I get started, I want to say happy 4th of July to everyone out in Boss Land area. Um, also, I would like to say a big shout out, happy birthday to my grandfather. He is no longer here on earth, but I know he is celebrating in heaven. So, happy birthday, Papa. Love you. And I would also like to say happy anniversary to my parents. They have been married 35 years today, and they are so in love. They just crack me up with their little old selves. But uh, anyway, happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. Now, perfect segue into my topic. I came across a question yesterday on a different platform, and the question was, can a man or a woman who are married, have friends with the opposite sex. So the forum that I was a part of, uh, I was the only one who said no. Everybody else was, oh, yeah, 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 you know, you can do it. And, and if you can't, then, you know, you got trust issues and you shouldn't be with that person. That person shouldn't be with you. Okay. So I thought about it. I'm like, you know, I can agree to disagree. I'm not going to have no argument on the Internet. And so, you know, my thinking was, for me and my house, it's a big fat no. Period. And I'll tell you why. Boss Man and I, we've been together 24 years. We are high school sweethearts. When we first got together, he had female friends, I had male friends. A lot of my male friends were like my big brothers, so to speak. His female friends was just, yeah, female friends. When we decided to get serious decided that okay we're gonna be boyfriend girlfriend then um his friends started to cause issues within our relationship so my thing was you can't be friends with them because if they're gonna cause issues that's not gonna work for me i'm not gonna be you know the side chick sidebar whatever no you need to get rid of them they, they don't have no business in our relationship same with him. Okay, if I got to get rid of my female friends, you got to get rid of your guy friends. So it was a mutual decision. It worked out for the best. We've been together 24 years, and now coming up August 26th, we will have been married for 12. So for us, it works. For other people, I guess not. Well, the way I was raised, my grandparents were that way. My parents were that way. Now, we've all got mutual friends of the opposite sex, but we don't have sidebar friends. And that's where I think it was an issue in that other form. Now, when I brought it to Instagram, my Instagram sisters, my YouTube sisters was like, no, you can't, uh-uh, don't know. But in this other form that I was a part of, they, oh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. But these type of people, you know, they, some were not married. <laughs> Some was married, but them been through some cheating scandals anyway. You know, that type of deal. So it wasn't like they were taking their covenant vow to the utmost, uh, giving it the utmost respect, if that makes sense. And I'm sorry, when I married my husband, I came into my marriage with a covenant vow to him and to God. And I'm not trying to, you know, mess that up. So that's just my way of thinking. And that's how I was raised. Um... But mutual friends, yes, we have, you know, friends, couples, you know, and we're friends with them, you know. I, I'm friends with, you know, his friend, and then he's friends with his friend's wife, you know, that type of deal. But it's not like, you know, I'm getting together with his guy friend, he's getting together with the guy friend's wife, and we're separated out, and we're, you know, you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, mutual opposite sex friends, fine, but sidebar, oh, no, baby. You know, I even have a rule in my house. No single women are allowed in my house. And no single men either. Um, you know, and my husband, he's the type of person, if the doorbell rings and he's not expecting nobody, he don't even open the door anyway. You know, now, depending on how it is for me, if it's dark outside, I'll open the door. I don't care, male, female, or otherwise. Um, but, you know, during the day, I may open the door and say, you know, he's not here, whatever. But if I don't feel comfortable... I'll open the door, I'll yell through the window, but like, he ain't here, call him on his phone, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, not that he's got, like, scary Jason, Freddy Krueger type friends, but I'm just saying, you know. I just keep it myself in a respectable bubble, 
I'm not opening no doors. And he don't either. Um, but that's mutual respect to each other and our covenant vow to God. So, you know, I thought that was really strange that that popped up because I wanted to talk about something totally different. Um, but that popped up and I said, oh, let me bring that to the channel because I think that's a good little topic. So tell me what you guys think or you ladies um, that are married. You know, can you have friends of the opposite sex? You know, can your husband have friends of the opposite sex? How do you feel about that? I know for me and my house, it's not going down. Um, I was raised, uh, you know, you get cut. Put it that way. You will be cut. Play with me if you want to. Try me not. So, <laughs> and that's the truth. That's boss lady. That's real. Um, <laughs> but anyway... Uh, boss man and I had a nice little getaway. I told y'all last week that, you know, we were kind of going to go away for a little bit or whatever. And we did, and I'm so happy that we did. We enjoyed ourselves. We had a phenomenal time. We went um, about five hours away. We went to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And um, now I've been to Milwaukee before. I can't remember if boss man has ever been to Milwaukee. But when I went, I was like 12, I think. Yeah, it was before... Way before uh, Baby Girls. I was about 12, 11, 12 years old. I went over there, but not to party or whatever. It was just a family thing. So, it was nice going. He and I, you know, we had the music going, different music, you know. And we had different genres going. Um, some stuff that we, you know, necessarily don't listen to with Miss Peanut around. Um, you know, he serenaded me a little bit, which was nice. woo we? Um, and we just had a great conversation. I mean, every now and then we would bring up Miss Peanut, you know, because she's our baby. So, you know, parents can't be parents if they don't speak about their kids, okay? But, um, we had a phenomenal time. Um, I, I really enjoyed myself. I'm really happy that we went. It was stepping out of our comfort zone, best believe. Uh, but we went to a jazz place there. And it's, they played blues and jazz, but that particular night they were playing um, basically just kind of old school music, old school rap and, you know, R&B, things like that. So it was stuff that, you know, we kind of grew up on, so it was kind of cool. Um, the crowd was amazing. They were 30 and up. Um, we had some laughs. We are people watchers. We're not clubbers if that makes sense we don't do dancing and all that i mean even though you know boss lady was finger popping the whole night that's why i got this thing on my shoulder is jack but um but we are people watchers and wherever we go we watch people and it was so much fun oh my god <laughs> oh it was fun um i could not video because of the the place that we were at um and the event that we were at it was um it was a private party, so I couldn't video, you know, whatever. Plus, I don't want copyright because of the music. So, anyway, it was great. We had a phenomenal time. We got to connect as husband and wife, and I appreciate it. So, yes, we had a great time, and my camera cut off or something. I don't know what that was about. But, anyway, we had a great time, and um, we actually, Miss Pina was gone for two nights. We were only gone for one. But, um, because we dropped her off the night before we left. And it was just, it was beautiful. Our hotel was nice. Um, the hotel was nice. We stayed out by the airport in Milwaukee, which was a really nice area. Um, he took me to Dollar Tree. <laughs> you know, he said, you know, thank you for coming. I'll take you to wherever you want to go. So, I went to Dollar Tree. I was supposed to go to Ross, but I wasn't feeling well the next day. So, and, uh, had to go to Target and pick these things up. These are some lidocaine icy hot patches, but um, but that was okay. Uh, but had a nice. It was a nice time. It was a nice adult time, if that makes sense. Um, we we spend so much time being parents. Sometimes we forget to be adults, and you know we get so caught up in the the day to day, every day doing the same old whatever. You know, get up, go to work, come home, eat dinner, go to bed, stuff like that. And so it was nice to get dressed and throw on some makeup, a little smell good, and just, you know, step out on his arm like that. So um, it was a birthday party that we went to, and the person party who it was, they were very glad that we came, thanked us so much. I mean, even called us after we came back home, and thank you, thank you, thank you. We got the person a nice gift. Um, 
And yeah, so we are actually, maybe, possibly, I don't know how it's going to work, but we're talking about maybe going away again for our anniversary in August. And so, I'll see, because, you know, we already have an August vacation coming, so I don't know how that's going to work, you know. Money just don't grow on trees, you know. But anyway, at any rate, it was a great time. I'm glad we were able to do that. And yeah, so, you know, once again... As far as the topic of today, can a man or a woman be married and have friends of the opposite sex? So, chime in on that. Let me know, you know, what you think. And because it's the 4th, let me know what you're having for dinner uh, for the 4th or not dinner. I guess barbecue. Everybody doesn't barbecue, but we do. Um, I can tell you what we're having. I'll wrap this up. We're having... <clears throat> Excuse me. We're having uh, barbecue chicken, burgers, hot dogs, roasted corn, baked beans, potato salad, chicken kebabs with onions, bell peppers, and something else I can't remember. And then um, for dessert, mainly for me and Miss Peanut, we're making a s'mores dish. 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 <laughs> a s'mores dish. And hopefully I can get it videoed. And bring that to the channel. If not, I'll post pictures to Instagram. So hopefully you're following me on Instagram so you'll be able to see it. Um, we saw a video. I forgot who it was by. But um, I think it's going to turn out great. So, yeah. So that's what we're having for the 4th. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see everybody in a new video. Bye.